sugars, yeah? Yes, thank you. This is Esther Myers interviewing Jasper Collins. It's the 24th of February, 2000. So Jasper, congratulations on the release of the bestseller Immortal Souls. What can you tell my readers about the story? Where should I start? How about the beginning? So our main character, uh, Jonathan, was a student of mythology. But his research, it led to certain other discoveries. You mean Eleanor? Yes. To him she looked like the goddesses he had read about. And soon he realised he was in love with this mysterious woman. Good morning, miss. Excuse me, sir? What do you think you're doing? Research. On what topic? Greek mythology. Gods, goddesses, uh, rituals. What sort of goddesses? And after a few weeks, the two became inseparable. So what inspired the library? I heard from a source that it was based on a real location. It was actually inspired by no library, just, uh, just down the road. It's a building very close to my heart. Interesting. Um, and keeping on the theme of inspiration for a minute, I can see similarities between Jonathan and yourself, but who inspired Eleanor? A lot of people have asked who inspired her, and what I will say, I mean, what I will tell you, like I tell other people, is she was a woman that I knew a long time ago, and we, uh, we fell in love. Eleanor had found an ancient love spell. My love for you is consummated eternally by the flame of love with Aphrodite as my witness. Jonathan escaped the fire, but Eleanor was trapped within the building and was killed. And from then on, the couple were cursed. Can you explain the curse? Because your fans have many different takes on it. He was cursed to immortality and doomed to watch her die again and again with each reincarnation. He finds her every 20 years, but she never remembers her past lives. It became apparent that every time he sees her, their time together increases before it becomes fatal for her. Which chapter did you find the most enjoyable to write? I'd have to say the 80s because it was the first time that he was able to celebrate her birthday with her. So, <clears throat> happy birthday. Um, I got you something. I mean, it's, it's only small, but... Oh, you shouldn't have. Can I put it on you? Yeah. Happy birthday. I love it, darling. It's beautiful. And that was the last chapter in the book. Tell me, what do you think happens to the couple? Do they break the curse or do they spend the rest of their days in an endless cycle? Honestly, I don't know. It, it hasn't happened yet. That's, that's the beauty of the story. Thank you for your time, Jasper. I appreciate you answering my questions. The article should be out by next week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you do me a small favour? Yes. I mean, if, if you have time, could you go and take a look at the old library? It suffered a fire in 1900, but I think it might be helpful for your article, and I think it actually might help you find out kind of why I fell in love with the building. Okay, I'll, I'll see if I have the time. Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay, I'll see you out. Thank you again, Jasper. No problem at all.